let's go back to the very beginning. Uh, how did Disney on Ice all start? Well, it actually started, we, we had Ice Follies and Holiday on Ice, which were traditional touring ice shows. And one, day, one Saturday afternoon, I was at one of the shows and I realized, I looked around the audience, and it was an older audience. There, there weren't a lot of families there. And I knew in order to succeed in the long term, we needed to bring families in. And that was the motivation for me to go to Disney. Um, now, how did you come up with that first show concept? What was important to you about it? There were a couple important things because now we take it for granted because it's, it's so many years later, but at the time it was a risk and we wanted to have as many Disney characters in one show as possible. That the only place you could see more Disney characters would be if you had gone to Disneyland or Disney World. But one thing that was very important for us is we just didn't, we didn't want this to be just a kid's show. So the integrity of the ice skating was very important. And that was, then we have world-class ice skaters, uh, people that had participated in one, uh, Olympic medals and so this was a true family show and then over time we had the credibility of the skating we had to teach these athletes to become actors and then what we could do is we learn more every year and the shows evolved into what they've become today. Right. Um, we've chatted before and there's a really great story about that very first show and some special people that were there with you at that first performance. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, it was amazing. We opened in July 14th at the Brendan Byrne Arena, which was a brand new arena in New Jersey. And in attendance was Ron Miller, who was the CEO of the Disney company at the time, and Diane Disney, who was his wife. And she was there and I sat with her on that opening night and I turned around at the end of the show and we had literally every character on the ice and I could see her emotion and I could see the tears coming down. And she turned to me and she said, my father would have loved this. And that, that was a moment for us and it, it really spoke volumes and it was something that really pushed us to continue to make sure we always had the quality and the Disney ethos in every single show and everything that we did. And if, I know it was a big deal to take Disney on Ice International for the very first time. Um, tell me about the expansion of Disney on Ice, how that came about and what it meant to audiences around the world. It, it was really something special and something for us. I mean, in um, 1985, uh, Michael Eisner, uh, we had just negotiated a new arrangement and it was a five-year arrangement. And what he wanted was, he wanted to make sure that we took Disney on ice, not just in North America, but globally. And that became uh, one of the contract terms, but it also enhanced and changed our company forever. And our first international uh, tour was in Japan and it opened in 1986 and it was Donald Duck's it had been his 40th birthday it was now his birthday celebration he was a few years older then and um, it was extraordinary uh, the response that it got and we always thought of Disney on Ice as an ambassador of Disney throughout the world and we play in so many places where there is no live presence that Disney has. So we are it and it has been extraordinary. And the one thing I will say, wherever we go, you see this joy that is universal that Disney brings to everyone around the world. That's amazing. Um, what is so impressive to me <clears throat> is the progression of the shows throughout the 40 years. Um, can you talk a little bit about what you have done to keep the shows current and people coming back for generations? Every year, the goal is to do something different than what we've done the prior year. And I will say, uh, working with the Disney team has been extraordinary and we're always press, pressing 
what is new in technology, what can we do? So we brought, we have all these other shows that we produce, whether it was Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus, or we have motorsport shows, and we can incorporate all of these things into Disney on Ice in different ways. So it adds a, a level of um, unexpectedness and it takes people to a different place and I think it further defines the unique aspects of Disney on Ice. And so if you come back every year, you're gonna see something different and something that's gonna to totally amaze you. What does Disney mean to your family? Disney, it, it means a, a lot to our family because it's a huge part of our company and how we think every day. But I think the most important thing is we are really entrusted with the most valuable intellectual property in the world, and that's all the Disney properties. And we treat it as if we own it. We obviously don't own it. But the integrity uh, of the Disney characters, of the Disney properties, is first and foremost. And we respect that, and we want to take care of it because that is the most valuable, uh, really, possession of the Disney company as well as all the IP that they've created o over the years. And we wanna make sure that we can maintain that quality. And that's what we've done. Well, I think now is a great time to introduce a very special guest. Uh, she is a two-time world champion, four-time US champion, an Olympic medalist, and was a featured skater for the first 10 years of Walt Disney's World on Ice, Linda Fratiani. Nice to see you, Linda. Thanks for coming back after all these years. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> Congratulations, Kenneth, on 40 years of Disney on Ice. It has been the most spectacular show of all time, <laughs> and it was such an honor for me to be a part of it. What was it like going from the Olympics to then skating alongside of Mickey Mouse in Disney on Ice? Yes, I grew up in California and every year my family and I would go to Disneyland and it was so exciting for us. I'm one of five. And um, so when I was asked if I wanted to join the Disney on Ice show, I was like, are you kidding me? This has been a dream. And um, so when I skated with Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and all the Disney characters. It was really a dream come true and to be on the ice with them and interact and sing and dance. And, and um, it, it was, um, you know, it was, it was the dream job for me and I couldn't believe I was even getting paid for this. It was something that I absolutely, absolutely loved doing every night. We have one last very special surprise. Uh, we couldn't celebrate 40 years of Disney on Ice without inviting a certain icon to join us. So please put your virtual hands together for your friend and mine, the star of Disney on Ice, Mickey Mouse. Hey Mickey, oh, it's great you. to see you. Congratulations on 40 years. And I have to tell you all something about Mickey Mouse. In 40 years, Mickey Mouse has never missed a performance. An extraordinary <laughs> record, and we're counting on another 40 years. That's amazing. Oh, thank you so much for joining us, Mickey, and thank you again, Kenneth, and to Linda for sharing so many wonderful stories with us today. And most especially, thanks to all of you out there for joining our celebration for such an incredible milestone with Disney on Ice. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you real soon.